Hello everyone and good afternoon. I believe it's afternoon where I currently am. Yep, 2.50, yep. So yeah, hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Yes, a Let's Play, not a stream. I'm not streaming. But this is a new Let's Play of where I'm going to be powerfully stumbling my way through Populous The Beginning. And I'm running this on the multi-first launcher which was made by fans to make this work on modern systems and it does a lot to make this game work. And it makes it modern as well, like 60 FPS. When this would need to be like below 30, I believe, or 30 ish. So, yeah, some animation stuff may be a bit quick, but for the most part, this is going to be 60 FPS and it's going to be running smoothly. And it's at my max res of 1920 times 1080. Yeah, I think that's the right one. So, but I had to think then. And yeah. For anyone that doesn't know what this game is, it's a strategy kind of game, simulation, of where you're kind of like playing a... I say, I'm saying it's like you're playing as God, but I know that was the oh, that was the older ones. This is the third game in the series, it's fair for I. But it's the one I grew up with. This is a game I played in my childhood a lot on the PS1. I'm playing this on PC, of course. Because I always wanted to play it on PC, and I feel like it fit better on the PC than PS1s. Which I could have just opened them earlier. But anyway, this is kind of like a mix of a strategy simulation where you can pretty much control your whole, whole tribe, but it's mainly wooed by this one shaman who everyone follows. And you can pretty much order everyone to build houses and stuff. You can get new spells, get new buildings, and go to war against other tribes, because there's other tribes around the galaxy or universe. I think it's a galaxy. I forget. Yeah. Even though they're all like, you know, tribal setting, it's very interesting and I really do enjoy this game. So I hope everyone else is going to enjoy this too. And without further ado, we're going to start a brand new game. I'm not doing the tutorial. The tutorial is very lengthy of how to do each part of the game and it's it's better to, to jump straight in the game and learn from that way, in my opinion. The tutorial does a good basic of what the game is though. Anyway, cutscene. Then from the darkness came the mana, and with the mana, the visions. We were not alone. There were other worlds, other tribes, moving through the heavens like a plague. They would destroy us. I possessed the second sight. The mana flowed through me like fire, unleashing the magic within. The ancient legends had foretold my coming. I was the one destined to lead. The chosen one. The shaman. The time for peace was behind us. Now was the time for war! We would face powerful magic. The fury of the elements. Some would live, many would die. But with faith and courage, we would destroy our enemies. And I, I would become a god. So, what we got from that was a shaman who wants to become the god. We're going to defeat all the other tribes, our enemies, around this whole... I want to say galaxy? That's the right word, isn't it? Galaxy. And as you can see, there are all those little white globes around, floating around the... I'm guessing that meant to be the sun, maybe? 
those are all different planets and aka in this case there are levels so each planet is one level so we start off with the very watery looking planet and yeah that the sadly those FMV cutscenes I don't know what's some FMVs that's for like live action isn't it I don't know I, f I forget I know what it stands for but my memory sucks horribly in terms of what they actually meant to mean but yeah anyway those cutscenes yeah sadly they're still gonna look like the original resolution which I do not remember what the original resolution for this was because this was like what 90s early 20s 2000s because this is by Bullfrog aka the same company that made um Theme Hospital, Theme Park, Syndicate, all the, the Dungeon Keeper, all those great games. Syndicate was bullfuck, wasn't it? I think it was. I'm questioning myself now, but I'm not going to Google. And if anyone wants to correct me, they can do. Or say if I'm right or wrong. But I think I'm right. I, I could be probably wrong, though. I'm easily known to be wrong. But yeah, I think... um, What's his name? Peter... Money nukes? I can't pronounce his last name, sorry. But okay, the guy that went on and did, um, did he do Fable? I think he did Fable and Black and White. He definitely did Black and White. I think he took a part in this, or at least the first Populous game, because I know he did work with Bullfrog in the early days. I say early days, I don't even know when Bullfrog closed. But I do miss these kind of games, they're great. Well, anyway, I've done enough talking. Let's start. The cutscene, but I did show some of the spells and such. So, yeah, we're gonna be um, seeing a lot of that stuff in action. And this is how the game looks. I have created my reincarnation site and the settlement is nearly complete. Though there's not really much talking, to be honest. After all, it's a stretchy game. So, there's the Dakini. Warriors, or whatever they're called, the Dakini tribe. The Fault of Knowledge contains the knowledge of the enemy, only your sim can worship him, and that will give us the ability to do something. And there's a stone head, your followers may worship them to gain a bonus. Okay. And we have full control. Excellente. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. And yet my control configuration is still correct. Excellent. I've made it so it's more modern controlled compared to what it was originally. I originally need to move. You can move your mouse or you press like the arrow keys or the numpad keys. But the problem with either of those is it's so far from the rest of the keyboard. I'm like right next to my hand. And the arrow keys, um, you can't move left and right. You'll be like turning left and right, which it won't work anymore because I changed it to the left side of the keyboard so WASAD is my moving about and I made Q and E my turning so Q to look left and E to look right and you can zoom in and this way it looks like zoomed in I'm taking my time on this level because there's no rush the enemy won't come to us they won't really do much because they're over here I believe they're not shaman yeah they, they, there they are the, the canny shaman I probably pronounced it holy wong but whatever so yeah, the red, the red ones are called the Kenny, and I'm going to forget this name straight away. This FYI. <laughs> so, obviously start off with blue is good and red is evil, you know the drill. All they be doing is probably upgrade their house. They won't make another house, to, as, to my knowledge. And I think I can activate cheats, I'm not going to. And I don't think I ever will, but just to be, like, um, I won't really... Um, news cheats if I can help it. Oh yeah, and it's modern as well, you can right click to deselect people, it's great. Although I'm used to right clicking actually moving characters, so I may make that mistake every now and then. But anyway, I've done enough talking. So yeah, oh this is how I'll be playing because this is the other zoom in, it's too close. This is the default view. And then you can see it even more to be like this, which can be a bit confusing. Or we can see the planet. Ooh. But anyway, so let's begin. So newsy, this level is quite straightforward. Go to houses, select these three uh, peasants. I don't actually know what they're called. Braves, okay, so pay braves, they're braves, they're not peasants. 
we can rotate, which I had to look up and change the control because I, for the love of me, when I was playing on PC, could not figure out how to rotate. I think the tutorial probably may have told me, but no, but it was me and basically, yeah. So yeah, we can build a house, or hut in this case, which basically means... And the other three have gone to help out, you assholes. No, 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 get your butts back here. If I wanted you to build it, I would have, that's the one, but um, I would have asked. You go build your own. Alright, so that's sorted. Yeah, they're, if there's any braves that are like idle doing nothing, they do help out others. So I do like that feature. Although sometimes it gets annoying when you... In this case, well, I'm explaining stuff. So yeah, you start off with these small huts and three braves can fit in one. And you can tell if there's not, if it's full or not by the smoke on the house. So when it's f full, the smoke will just constantly go up. Let's see if they show an example here. Yeah, example here. The smoke is now constantly going up compared to this way. It's just like peep, peep, peep. Beep, beep, beep. So yeah, that's what the hut usually looks like. And then they eventually they do upgrade it. And so you can fit more people in it. And the more huts you have, the more people come out. Like, I'm guessing they go, you know, get it on. Even though they're all men, I don't understand, you know, tribe logic, but whatever. Because the only woman is the shaman, if I understand correctly in this game. So she's obviously over here, so. Somehow, uh, so a little example right there, the hut's just been upgraded and they all leave and then they will go back in eventually, like that. And eventually another brave gets spawned from the huts and that's how they get spawned. We can see on the far left here, total followers, 15 out of 21. So we have 15 followers and we can have a total of 21 until we build more huts or they upgrade, I believe. And eventually they do cut trees and bring wood to the house, like for example here's some wood. So you do see that, uh, one of you can go there please, and another one can start building another house I think. So yeah, this is a bit slow of progress of me just talking about what's going on. Anyway, let's advance a bit more of the game. So first things first, we need to get a shaman to go to this thing. A, we couldn't use any follower to do this by the way, it doesn't have to be the shaman. Anyone could have gone on this thing. And there's the 60 frame rate in action of how quick that went by. And you see that's all slow motion. In the original version. But, so you don't even get to see the actual thing on the screen. But yeah, and usually it takes its time and it shows and eventually goes here. And I'll show you, I'll show everyone what that does in a minute once we've got max of it. And right, we're gonna stop doing it otherwise we're gonna constantly get that and that is honestly in my opinion fucking annoying. Anyway well, we've got some information here. Your sermon is thriving shaman. This sounds like a fucking strategy like every strategy game you're playing you just hear like your advisor or assistant or whatever in the background just going your sermon is thriving shaman. I'm thinking of stronghold that's what I'm thinking of. Your sermon is thriving, sire. Yeah, it's Stronghold I'm thinking of, which I've never finished, but I want to. It is in my backlog. <laughs> I've never done an ending backlog. Along with this game, which is hopefully this Let's Play is going to finish. So yeah. Um, uh, thriving shaman braves, resting in huts are one way of creating mana. Oh yeah, mana gives you the power to cast spells and train followers. I forgot, we also have mana. Which, in this case... I'm not sure I can properly explain it at the moment, but at the moment mana is only going to be effective for the fireball, it won't matter for the uh, land bridge, but I'll show you what that does in a minute. So if fireball, if we cast one randomly, you, you can see this bar now moving up, and that's based on all the uh, braves, the uh, followers we have. The more followers we have, the faster we charge that would be. I don't know if they need to be in the huts though to for in terms of that to work. I think so. 
Hey guys, you, none of you gonna go in there? No? As you see, there's a example of a brave just left. And then some of the others do just hop out, so it's great. Anyway. Yeah, so that's the mana, and what's this? You have received a single shot land bridge spell, and use it to create a path from where your shaman stands to the land on which it is cast. Cast it over water to create a causeway. So basically, it's just making a bridge. As shown here. Hello! We now can make a bridge. And if we wanted to, we can go on this thing again to get another spell, but we only have three newses left. We have to go use that statue for more. Alright, give me two followers. I don't think I'll need them, but it's a precaution method. Oh yeah, this is another fun feature I've completely forgot about. If the Braves are near, or like any of your followers are near your Shaman, they actually bow down to her and start worshipping her. Because in their mind, the Shaman is a god. They believe in the Shaman, the Shaman is the leader. There's no like village out or anything. Oh damn, the wind is quite impressive. Anyway. Oh yeah, we can also build a campfire. I won't show it on this level, but it's basically a guard post and you can send people around it and they just walk around it and they do their little dances and stuff, it's great. In fact, I'll build one now. I don't, and no one needs to actually start building it, so interesting enough. Okay, they got really angry doing that. I don't know why. But yeah, here's the example now of my brothers just left me. They're souls. But here's an example, and you can have as many Braves on there as you want. Well, I say Braves. You can have any kind of follower because there are more people than Braves. There are warriors and so on. Yeah, you can see them just like dancing around this campfire. It's great. Anyway, this guy is a pain, so he can die. Fireboard into the water. Oh yeah, FYI everyone, nobody in this game can swim. So, the water is an instant killer. But anyway, that's that guy dead. We fireboard its ass. And now, this is the foot of knowledge, which will give us the ability, it looks like, to meet warriors. We'll basically make the warrior building, which is that thing. So, the door opens and Ashim goes inside. And we learn how to build that building. And the shaman leaves, and then I believe that's gonna start collapsing. No? Alright. Oh, yeah, there we go. Starts collapsing. You stolen. The we stole it, apparently. The warrior training hurt plan. Build one to train warriors ready for. Conquest, okay, I did not. That does not look like a Q at all. Oh, by the way, example A of. I think we can have multiple people do it as well. Yeah, there we go. It doesn't have to be one person. We can have multiple, and I think it goes up higher the more people do it. And this is, gives us the lightning spell, which you can probably guess. It basically is a devastating weapon and much more powerful than blast. It kills enemy followers and sets fire to trees and buildings. Yeah, it's OP. I'll just say that, it's so OP. Shaman, can you help them out? Because they're taking forever. Meanwhile, um no, in fact, Shaman, come over here. I need I need a favour. Can you raise the land? I used up all the space. Come on, take your sweet time. Oh, by the way, you can use that land bridge to um, destroy buildings and stuff if you wanted to. Are you serious? I did all that for nothing. I suppose it doesn't matter where I put it. Actually, it does. Because you can't build it too far away from your settlement. And we're not going to have anything ability to increase that anytime soon. 
Oh, okay, no, we're doing it. Okay. Oh my god, everyone's going. Okay then. Right, everyone, they sort of basically what they do is. I didn't actually explain it. They flatten the land so they can get the like the foundation down, and then suddenly the building appears out of thin air, and they just get a bunch of wood and start building it. So I'll show off the warriors because I like this because you can take your sweet time. As you can see, they fucking take their sweet. They don't do anything useful. They have one warrior as well, so. It's not like they're going to have a load of warriors for us to deal with. Braves sent to warrior training help become warriors. Training news is mana. It does? I, I did not actually know that. Let's train all 15 of these guys because we don't need them as braves. And they queue up. Like, it's, like Brit it's like being in Britain. They queue up. They queue up. Have a nice... Someone tried to skip the line there, but they got towed off and went back to the back of the queue. It looks like the first person in the queue just, oh sorry, the second person, tries to go in the same time and just goes to the back of the queue. I mean, it doesn't really matter much, but yeah. This is the wall, yeah. He basically has a sword and shield and a little headband, oh, they all got headbands, never mind. So instead of looking like a martial artist, they're a martial artist with a sword and shield. So basically it's a brave. But with warrior training, anyway, let's get out of that. Uh, I'll get her, I'll get it up to ten. That should be more than enough. And you notice, by the way, this is now red. And I think it turns green when they try to make another follower. But because we don't have any new buildings or all the buildings are full, it stays that. Because they, they don't think any of these buildings could upgrade any further. They're all large huts, so we would need to build another hut to start getting more people. To get more followers. But for, I mean 40 it should be more than enough. Eleven. Uh one goes over there, ten should be more than enough. Let's actually finish this level. This level should nowhere near take this long, but I've been just, you know waffling. And let's use the lightning spear. And lightning that shaman. There we go. And that's the... That was the... Uh, shaman dying, that little thing. Because the shaman's meant to be really important. I love this, by the way. The warriors, they just start knocking it down. But we can, you know, do this. Oh, we killed our warrior. Whoops. And I think it ends once you kill everyone. And warriors are much stronger than braves, so they were instantly win. And there you go. That's the level done. The enemy place just gets destroyed. As shown there. And our people are celebrating like England just with the Run Cup. Look at that, they all jump in and cheer delightfulness. And if we uh zoom out. Hey, look at that! They're doing the conga line. Yeah, if there's if there's so many of them they start doing like the conga line, it's great. But they're all going crazy, and it's not actually too loud. I thought that was going to be a lot louder than it was. Well, but then again, I turned my headset down. Uh, meh. But yeah, everyone, we've won! Yeah, party! Imagine fucking, like, being that excited that winning. I don't think I've ever seen anyone celebrate that hard. We lost no fights. We did lose a follower, though. That totally was not my fault. <laughs> 
But yeah, that was a very easy level, and that's a nice like starting level of easing us in. I think it's very good for like a let's play or stream of we can just sit there and basically explain what how the game works. And now this is where things get more interesting. Yeah, we start with more followers this time. Now we must face the Matak tribe. I sense many warriors ready to stand against us. In my vision, we are aided by magic from a stone head. There must be a way to reach it. Oh, is this where we need a land bridge spell? Yep. But we don't have a land bridge spell, currently. Probably from... maybe that totem pole will give us one? Oh god, the towers. And there's the Vault of Knowledge. Oh, that'll get us a new spell. I love that spell. They, they just got a fucking brave, I saw that. A new brave disappeared out of thin air. Alright, so first things first. Let's get cracking. And you can go in that house to help out. Because apparently no one's in that house. And meanwhile... Okay, let's just delete that message. So I believe these are... Can we not delete that message? It's really annoying that it's there. No, okay. I'm not gonna bother then, I'll just leave it there. Uh, no one around? Oh, that's a, that's a fucking tree? Oh, so it is. That's a fucking weird looking tree, but okay. So first things first, let's get this totem pole. And uh, now, this is a guard tower. Basically, uh, it's what it says on the tin. It's a guard tower. Get too close to it and they warn. It's basically a signal of going, there's intruders. Oh, who needs a land bridge spell? Just needs the totem pole to summon land. So I'm guessing the totem pole does something like across the land. Alright, you go deal with that then. Right guys, don't stand around flicking your gums, but can get to work. Oh, what's that? Sharon, there's someone here will aid you faster if you command two of your followers to worship there. Uh, okay. You go help out over here. That's too taking forever. Send another one to help out. I don't know what that gets gonna give us. Is it the lightning spell? It makes no sense to have the land bridge spell on this. Oh, the tornado spell! Oh, that's very good. Use the tornado spell to destroy the enemy in their buildings before they have a chance to Yeah, Yeah, that is a very good spell. I like it. Oh, I think that's the shaman. Oh, yeah. So what's really cool is, by the way, you can see the enemy, the people in their towers. They only allowed one person in a tower. And they're floating, it looks like. Huh. Got the same for the other one. He's sitting in midair. What the fuck? That's very impressive, I gotta say. So yeah, this is still another easy level to get on over and done with. Honestly. What? Okay, weirdly enough, the camera just went crazy. Uh, I've got no place to really build this. Eh. Trees are blocking here. I don't want to really go and get rid of the trees. Oh, that was gone. Okay. Well, you stop praying to me and get to work.
I didn't realise we get the Tanula spell this early. Right, I like to build another hut, please. Yeah, shit. I'll keep pressing the down one button. This is where the fucking land bridge spell come in handy to you know. Can I seriously not? Yeah, I can't build this anyway, it looks like. Yeah, that's annoying. I mean, I can build it there, but it'll get rid of the tree, and I don't want to do that. Oh, oops. There. Oh, for the record, by the way, Asher and Rui spawn if we lose there. This thing basically revives the Shaman. Eventually, the enemies will get it as well, but I don't think this one's got one. So, if we get rid of this Shaman, things will be great. Oh, by the way, the towers do do different things for each follower you put in the tower. In this case, if we have a Shaman in the tower, their magic range grows. So yeah, shamans in towers are very deadly. So we gotta be really careful with that one, because that one will fucking outrange us. Oh, by the way, uh, shamans are quite weak in combat. I think they can go one on one against a brave and win. But in general, it's not a good idea to have the shaman do go in hand to hand combat but the shaman is very powerful that they can win you at levels alone with the magic guys you're just standing around licking your gums what's going on damn it this is what I get for putting that button right next to the others I already got rid of a bunch of trees do I have to get rid of another batch I don't know how that's going to work. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We don't need any more, to be honest. Right, let's get some more years and a go. By the way, what the fuck is this creation of a hurt? That's a very interesting large hurt. I like how there's different, like, makes versions, because this is a large hurt as well. So that stores the same amount of people. But it looks completely different to this thing. I mean, by the way, maybe this is not the best way to lay up the huts, but it's what I did. Right, five should be more than enough to win this level, I I think. Uh, let's get some magic. You can kill your own people with spells, so we've got to be careful. Yeah, today though is very overpowered. Oh, there she is. Fucking hell, I was blind as bat then. Hold on, hold on. Oh, they all ignoring my shaman. Okay, that's fine. My warriors can easily beat the braves, so it's fine. Wait, am I? No, 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 it's doing it. I've still got five warriors. Damn, she did that quick, I didn't even notice. Yeah, I, lo I love the Locust. This Stoker spell basically sends the enemy units far away. Oi, 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 oi! Get the fuck away from me. Uh, I like small warriors, actually.
Uh, the warriors are coming back. The warriors are repeat are coming back. Try and fireball them. Oh shit, shit. Quick, what I can. Yeah, there we go, there's Shim's dead. Whew. This fight got really uh, intense then. I'm not even really aiming at them, what the feck? There we go. Alright, so I think this level is pretty much good as one. Right, we just need to kill that guy. Where'd that guy come from? Holy shit, there's loads of them. Help out, would you? Would you guys? Come on now. This should be. This level should be pretty much all done and good. Where's the guy? Someone alive somewhere? Someone hiding in that tower? Go find out. There must be someone hiding in that tower. Oh, there they are. Get the. Get him! Tack! There we go. And we all win, everyone gets excited, yeah! I can't imagine ever being this happy over something. Yeah, everyone's happy, yeah! Bow down, we're gonna become a god, yeah! How many people have I lost? Oh, I lost one person again, huh. Interesting. But we now have the ability to cast Locus, which I think is gonna be... I suppose stuck with us forever now. <laughs>